Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the counting sheep and the sheep dies. These two items are celebration items for the August to September 2021 celebration period. And we will also be using the Pattern Party host only designer series paper okay but before we get into our project of course we need to go over the buzzworthy business of the day and like i've already stated it's celebration time are you ready to celebrate from august 3rd to september 30th 2021 we are running our celebration promotion, which is the biggest promotion of the year with Stamp It Up. And during celebration, you can earn exclusive products for free for every $50 that you spend. You can add your pick of a celebration product to your cart at no additional cost. Okay. And if you've seen our new mini catalog, you know there is not a short supply of items for you to choose from. So it won't be hard to reach $50 to get something for free. Next up, we have our kits collection. Again, these kits can only be found on Stamp It Up's website. So if you go to shopwithshauna.stampitup.net or to my blog, honeybeestampinghive.com and click on shop. And once you're there, click kits. You'll find all the kits, okay? And speaking of kits, we have our new September paper pumpkin kit haunts and harvest this kit is going to feature i believe 3d items like treat boxes and such not cards okay so if you want to um subscribe for this particular paper pumpkin i'll have the link in the description box below and as always you can find that also on my blog and you just click paper pumpkin on across the top of the blog page that have links there so I think this is gonna be a very, very cute paper pumpkin kit. I've seen some sneak peeks that I'm gonna share later. So keep coming back by my um, blog at honeybeestampinghive.com and you can get some sneak peeks of what these treat boxes are gonna look like. Really cute. Okay, and during celebration, we have an awesome join special. If you would like to join Stamp It Up, I would love it if you would join under me and be on my team, Honeybee Stamping Hive. If you're going to spend $99, you might as well purchase the kit. The starter kit is $99. You get to choose $125 worth of products. And that um, includes free shipping, a paper pumpkin kit, and a business starter pack. So the only thing you'll be paying is $99 plus tax. And during celebration, you get to choose one free bundle from the mini catalog out of these 12 bundles that they offer. And they are Frosted Gingerbread, Christmas Season, Christmas to Remember, Whimsical Trees, Peaceful Deer, Sweet Little Stockings, Penguin Place, Peaceful Cabin, Arctic Bears, Beauty of Tomorrow, Gorgeous Leaves, and Nature's Harvest. And one of these, I can't remember which one, but I'm thinking it's Christmas to Remember. One of them is over $60. So you'll get what? Like $190 worth of product for $99. Okay. You can't beat that. There's no obligation. You don't have to hold parties. You don't have to make videos. You can just enjoy the discount and whatever other benefits there that comes with being on Honeybee Stepping Hive team. <laughs> okay, lastly, we have our August host code for August 2021. This code is to be used whenever you purchase anything from me. So this code can be found on my Facebook page at Honeybee Stamping Hive or my blog. Every month it does change. Your purchases is what keeps me bringing these videos to you here on YouTube for free. Now that is all of our business that we have to go over. Now let's get right into making our project. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using Call Me Crafty Owl's sheet load of cards for August, 2021. So this is the card sketch that we're gonna be using. 
She gives you all the supplies, dimensions, and alternative ways. And she also gives you a diagram of how to cut each of your um, papers to maximize them. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, I pre-done a lot of stuff because this card has a lot of pieces. So I've gone ahead and de um, decorated my envelope, the flap of my envelope with the um, Pattern Party Designer Series paper. We have a base here of Flirty Flamingo that's cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Then we have some um, basic white that is three and a half by four and three quarters that I've put a um, three quarter inch piece of that same designer paper that's on the envelope flap and stamped you're amazing with the and die cut a little party hat and this is going to go on the inside of our card so let's go ahead and do that now just to get that done and out of the way Now, if you want to get all of the measurements for everything else, I will link to Call Me Crafty Owl's um, video where she tells you how to download her free PDF, okay? Let's get a bone folder. Make sure this is really good and folded, okay? Now, I also have some basic black here for layering. And we have some pieces of the designer series paper that's gonna layer onto this black. So let's go ahead, no, do, nope, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I have things to do with these papers. Okay, so that's the designer series paper that I have. And then I use this paper. So in the dies, we have um, a die that cut out cuts out balloons. And what I did was took this designer series paper here and I tried to put the balloon right over these little um, flowers, the Mango Melody flowers, I think this is, or Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, that's yellow, Melon Mambo, <laughs> that um, image, that is what I was trying to get, as you can see here, or maybe you can see, and then this is just the back of the balloons the back side of the designer series paper that I colored with Daffodil Delight and Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blends. And then I colored the stem, the string of the balloons with um, some smoky slate, okay? And let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I cut out a bunch of um, some more black white for stamping, some basic white for stamping. I cut out a fence from that um, die set some clouds and a sun okay so let's go ahead and get started with our stamping because i have a lot of things to do so let me get some mini grid paper we're going to get our memento black ink and our stamp our image is going to be this cute little sheep here that looks like he's handing somebody something and we're going to use the balloons so let's go ahead and Stamp that there. And where's my other little white piece? There it is. We have our sentiment that says, so glad it's your birthday. And we're gonna stamp this right in the middle of this paper. Just like that. And I believe that's all we need the black for. So now I have granny apple green. And we're going to stamp on this. I have the little grass image from the stamp set. And I'm just going to add in some grass just here and there. All over this sheet. Just to add a little bit of dimension to it with the darker color on there. I don't know why this thing is, t oh goodness gracious. <laughs> I didn't want that to fall on the paper. Yeah, so I'm not going any 
particular, just randomly stamping it, trying not to make it lined up. So I'm trying to stagger, stack them like um, bricks. That's pretty good. Okay, and I have one more thing to stamp, which is the back of our card, because this is gonna be a birthday card for one of my team members. Happy birthday, Jen. This is just my um, watermark stamp. Okay, so now I think we're finished with all the stamping. But we have one more thing to color, and that is this piece of the designer series paper. I'm gonna get some pool party and a blending brush, and we're gonna color this paper pool party. I'm gonna start off on your scrap paper so that you don't get a big harsh blotch of ink on your project and I'm not pushing very hard just lightly rubbing the ink onto here you want to go in circular motions when you ink it up and also when you're coloring onto your paper you don't want to press too hard because that can also make it blotchy like leaving dark like you know when you start see how that first thing was so dark you don't want to do that onto your project so we're just going to get all of this colored in okay that looks good to me yep pretty good okay so we'll close this ink up so we won't make a mess with that get rid of our scrap paper and we will pull out the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which I call the baby bus. We're gonna cut out our sheep using our dies. So let me get the one we need. The, this one here. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame so we're gonna just cut this out I don't want it too close to the edge of the plates here just lining that up <laughs> sorry about that Okay, there's our image, that's perfect. And I think that's all the die cutting, all the stamping. And I do wanna cut down our sentiment to, I think about one and three quarters. And this is by, um, a half inch so one and three quarters by half inch okay now what are we going to do color so let me um get some stampin blends what we're going to use are the smoky slate light and dark and the color lifter okay so i'm going to start with the light and i'm going to color part of the face like halfway down then I'm gonna take the color lifter and lighten that up a bit and try to blend it out to the rest of the face. There, it's pretty good. Then we're gonna use the light on the ears and I'm gonna blend that out because I don't want them that dark. Just want it to look a little colored in, but not much. Okay. Then we're gonna take our light and go over all the places that they've put the little um, shadowing lines. 
And I'm only going to work in the little sections at a time so that my ink doesn't dry on me. Because I want to just blend this out. I don't want it to look so harsh. Just adding a little color so that the sheep is not so stark white. more to go right here and we'll be done with this part this portion sorry for all the squeakiness probably pressing too hard okay then we're gonna take the dark um, smoky slate and we're gonna color the hooves I just remembered I needed the light still so we're just gonna do this part with the dark smoky slate. And we're gonna go over the legs with the light smoky slate. But we're not gonna um, lighten that up. Okay. So that's that image done. And now we can start putting things together, okay? So let's get our glue, our multi-purpose liquid glue, and start adhering pieces together. I love celebration time, earning stuff for free when you're gonna purchase stuff anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. The new mini um, July to December catalog has so many good things in there. So you won't have any problem finding things to purchase to earn your free celebration items. So to get these um, dies and the stamp set together because they match, you would need to purchase $100 or more before shipping and tax to get both of them because they're two separate items. They don't come together. Oh my gosh, I love layering things on black. Okay, let's get our card base. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. Just adding this, some glue. And we're gonna put this, try to get it central across this way and this way. Let me look at that. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Pretty good. Then we're gonna do the same with this one, but this way. Okay, so let's add our adhesive. Whoa, that's a little too close to the edge. Let me, it might go over to the front of our card. We don't want that. So we're gonna put this right in the middle here. So we wanna to try to make that even. So we need to scoot that over just a little bit. Get my blue vines everywhere, okay. So we have that down. And now we're just gonna build our scene, okay. So I have our fence here. And if I would've been thinking I was trying to do everything ahead of time and get prepared so the video won't be too long. And I should have put, um, use the adhesive sheets when I was cutting out all this stuff. But it's okay, we'll work with it. Let's see, I want my fence this way. We're gonna put this right at the bottom of our designer series paper layer here. There we go. Just like that. And then we are going to do what? What are we gonna do? Um, I think I wanna put a cloud here. And it looks like that's gonna need a dimensional, so let's get our dimensionals out. And, hmm, 
it's just one on that side put a little adhesive liquid adhesive on this side we're going to put that cloud right there let's put it up a little bit more right there then we're going to add our sun with a little adhesive right over our cloud here in this corner that's cute then let's see let's see let's see we need to put down our balloons Let, let's add this cloud where we put this one hmm. probably about right there that'd be good that'd be good add a little glue I don't want it too far down because it is in the sky, right? <laughs> okay, so we need to add our balloons, but I need to know where are the sheep. And let me put my dimensionals on the back of our sheep here. I'm gonna pop the sheep up. Do we want dimensionals on the back of our balloons as well? You guys, these are just the edges of our my dimensionals. You know, I use every little bit. I don't throw them away just because the big ones are gone. I use all of the, the bones of my dimensionals. There we go. That should be enough. Let's see. So I want this to be about right here, about right there. So we wanna put our balloons here. I think I'll pop one up. Just one of them. And let's see. Yep, I think I like it like that. So should we pop up the one with the polka dots, right? Because it's different. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a dimension on the back of that. And the tiniest bit of glue on the string. I didn't even squeeze it. I just kind of, I want this one to be shorter than the rest. I didn't want to put the sheet down yet because I don't want to, um, I want to be able to put my strings under there. That's why I haven't taken the dimensionals off. Oh, I guess I should <laughs> put a little bit of glue on the strings of these balloons. This one I wanna kinda tuck under that way. Okay, now let's put our sheep on. Then the last thing we'll have to do is add the sentiment. And we'll be done. That's too far over. How far did I have it? About right there, right? Yep, that looks good. Now, I want to add my sentiment layer. And these are not going to be layered exactly the same. This one I'm going to put straight across like this. And this one, we're going to put at a little bit of an angle. We're gonna do it about like that, okay? And then all we need to do now is add our bling. So what I have to decorate our card with are the Playing With Patterns resin dots. They have the um, Purple Posy, which is a retired color, but we still have these in the um, current catalog, Coastal Cabana and Crushed Curry. So this um, sun is Crushed Curry cardstock, so that's why I'm choosing the Crushed Curry. So I just need my Take Your Pick tool. Let me see if I can use this side. And I wanna put some of these little ones. One there. Maybe I'll put a big one in the middle of the sun. How would that look? 
Ooh, that'd be cute. One there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should we put some in the, the middle of our balloons? I think that'd be cute. In the middle of the flowers on the balloons. So that's um, four. We need one more so we can have an odd number. Let's try putting one maybe down here somewhere. So I'll get another small one. Mm -mm -mm. Just put it right there. Yep. Call that done. What do you think, you guys? I think it's cute. Now, I did stray a bit from her layout. She had an oval here and her sentiment went over that. But, you know, this is art. I'm using my creative license to change things up a bit. But I did, was inspired by her um, card sketch. So I will say I'm using her card sketch because that's what I am doing. I just changed the middle up. But what do you guys think? Cute, right? Oh, gosh, that is so cute. Okay. <laughs> That is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.